Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today we're going to learn a little bit about Blender UV mapping. Now before we begin, I'm going to show you a cool little resource you can use which is form.nistic.com. Now this is the official website for these tutorials and after you register you can go to the blender 3d section and you can post any questions or comments uh, you have or you can show off your render or even participate in some uh, modeling contests that we have now I'm also going to be making some blender DVDs that will be a little bit more in depth than the blender tutorials and there will be also a higher quality so you can see everything better um, the first uh, tutorial the first blender DVD will be on making a character in blender so we'll go over modeling and texturing and animation and the second one will be on building a small game in blender so if you're interested uh, sign up um, to form.nistic.com and send me a private message um, up here and just let me know you're interested or if you're on YouTube you can just send me a message um, from YouTube and letting me know you're interested and I'll sign you up for one of the DVDs now let's get started on our tutorial so first you have to go to form.nistic.com and click on the blender 3d category now there's a bunch of topics here and you want to find the UV mapping tutorial topic. If you don't see it in any of these these topics here, you can just go up to the search bar and type in U UV mapping tutorial and hit search and it should give you um, what you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click a UV mapping tutorial uh, and then you're going to need a need this texture here. This kind of orange and black texture for the tutorial so you need to right click and save image as and it's cube.png and you just hit save and so it'll take a couple of seconds and it'll save it's not a very big file so I'm going to minimize that and go into blender here so now we start off with our default cube like always and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go up here to the different views and then we're going to click on the last one, scripting. Then we're going to go on this middle bar here and move it to the right so we can see our cube better. And we'll just have this little window over to the side. Now from there, you click on um, the window type button and you go to UV image editor, editor, and you can you should see some kind of a grid like this. Then go back over to your cube, change this from object mode to UV face select, and then you want to make sure I'm going to hit Alt and left mouse button to rotate this. You want to make sure all these faces are selected. So that's when I, I just hit A. That's when they're not selected hit A again this is when they're all selected so we come over here we can see that there's kind of a plain kind of looking thing on the UV editor and we want to hit E to unwrap just to make sure it's working and so with this plane here that represents each little square we have on our cube or each little plane we have our, uh, on our cube and so that's the face of it so what we do you go to image we go to open and then you have to find where you saved um, that texture from uh, form.nistic.com and so it's on my desktop so I just click on cube.png open image and as you can see you can just kind of see the image here. And so, 
if we render this, as you can see, it looks just like a normal cube, nothing's happened. But, let's go back to the modeling view. As you can see, you can, um, this texture is already on the preview of the cube. All we have to do is go and hit Shading and Materials, and then click on Text Face, render again, and there we go. We've um, done some UV UV mapping. So as you can see, um, the texture, um, that image is on each one of the faces. So you can open up any image, and you can use that editor to just kind of put the texture on that uh, object or it can be any type of object it can be a a sphere or a cone or like we have here our cube so that's it for this tutorial I hope you um, learned a little something today about UV mapping and I hope to see you in the next tutorial bye